You know the topic of the video is serious if I'm standing up in front of the music wall. Welcome to Operation Preparation. When you're up and down and you're over and out, come listen to your friend. Steven Brown, this is the show with Steven. Now this is the first in a new series of kind of stuff that uh, I want to highlight on this channel of things that I do in my own time because I like to go into autistic levels of details with my hobbies. Operation preparation is just the first of many operations we will undergo as a team uh, that you're going to see here on this channel. Now to prepare for spring 2023 anime season I need to watch a certain amount of shows, the first couple seasons of certain shows, so I can watch the sequel seasons airing in just now, uh, two weeks. Yes, the soonest anime to air from the list of shows I'm about to share with you is in just 14 days, and I need to watch every episode of every season that came beforehand so I can watch it as it airs with the rest of you guys. Up first on this list is Konosuba. Uh, I rewatched the first. I've seen all of this, but I'm rewatching it. I rewatched the first season with my lovely girlfriend. We enjoyed it. We still have to watch the second season, and we have to watch the recap movie thing, which is not required, but I want to watch it, and I also want to watch the OVA episode, the special episode, because Konosuba is just that good. Starting off strong, I got no problem with this. Konosuba airs in just 18 days. I've watched the first season. That's 10 episodes. Gotta watch the second season. Another 10 episodes. And the movie, I'm just gonna assume for all the movies going forward on this list, and there's there's quite a few movies, that there are at least two episodes of anime equaling one hour of runtime. The second show that is getting another season is In Another World with my smartphone. There's 12 episodes of this show to watch. Now, I watched one episode of the show, and it had me like... Is this a bad anime? So we're not watching that shit. I dropped it. Thank God the list just got 12 episodes shorter. Number three, thank God, another good show, Magus Bride, came all the way back in 2017 is when the first season came out. I've never seen it before. My sister always said it was good. And now they're coming out with the second season in 2023. That's a big gap, dude. But it's okay. 24 episodes, and I only have four episodes to go on this. I've already watched 20 episodes. I Love this show. Next Saturday, you're going to get a full-on review. My first actual targeted video talking about one specific series. I'm going to write a full review for that on Saturday. Stay tuned. Coming out in 16 days is the second season of Kuma 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 Bear, which is Japanese for bear, 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 bear. Uh, I watched the first episode of this back when it came out, the first season, and it was on my dropped list. So I, I might drop it again. I don't know, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and try it again. And we'll see. I haven't started this one yet. This one's, I don't know, probably not going to happen. Number five I'm really excited for. It's called Ranking of Kings. Um, this one is pretty popular. Although I don't see it talked about too much, I've been able to keep myself spoiler-free and not know anything about the series other than people say it's a lot like One Piece with its world building, which means it's probably amazing. So I'm excited to watch that one. think I'm going to watch this one with the girlfriend. We haven't started yet. Eden Zero is number six. I'm somewhere like six or seven episodes into this. There's 25 episodes total. This one comes out the soonest. It comes out in 14 days. It is the, the quickest approaching one. This show, I didn't watch Fairy Tale or read Fairy Tale, but this is made by the same guy that made that. It's got some of the same characters in it. It has nothing to do with the storyline. It's just he likes to use the same little mascot type characters. It's pretty fun. It makes me want to go watch Fairy Tale because this the show is it's a good time. It's chill. It's not you know it's not great, but it's not bad. The next one is Birdie Wing, which is thirteen episodes. I've watched three episodes. I had the intention of finishing it. I like it, but I want to know who hurt you, YouTube community, because everyone I've seen talk about the show on YouTube has said it's amazing, and guess what? It's not. It's just okay. Whatever season it came from, I don't remember. I can look it up later. Must have been pretty bad. If you guys thought this was that good. Tokyo Mew Mew New 2 is a sequel to a reboot of another show. It's kind of like a Sailor Moon, Pretty Cure type show. Um, I actually want to watch the original too, but I haven't watched started this first season yet, but I will watch that as well. That's another 12 episodes. Yeah. <sighs> Demon Slayer, uh, I fell off. I watched the first season when it came out, fell off of it because just the, I'm sorry, I'm a contrarian and the hype train 
made me not care anymore. I was like, it's not that good, guys. Relax. It's good. It's just not uh, as good as you think it is. Please. I watched the Mugen Train movie already. Um, that was good. Uh, and now I have to watch the second season. But the second season, half of it was in the movie. And then there's another movie that covers the second half of the season. So you can either watch two movies or a season of anime, which is 18 episodes long. I'm just going to watch all of it because I'm sure there's stuff, bits and pieces that are different in, from both versions, movies and series. And I'd still like to see it all. Um, but this one is going to be a huge pain in the ass. We're looking at 18 episodes and a movie. With all that being said, all of those shows tallied up without removing the one I dropped and without adding the episodes I have seen, which I'll get to the math after this, uh, it's going to be total starting off from the jump, 163 episodes. That is um, 81 and a half hours of anime that I have to fit into two weeks, right? So let's crunch the numbers there. Okay, so... Um, Minus the episodes I have seen, series I completed and dropped, that's 127 episodes to go, 63 and a half hours of anime in 14 days, and if I start today and chop it up equally, right now, at 5.47pm, um, that is four and a half episodes of anime a day. Now why do I live this life? You might ask. And it might be because I'm retarded. No, but um, there is something about taking, it's like competition, it's like sport. If I take my hobby and make it completely unbearable and make it work, I enjoy it more. I just like to punish myself. Now, am I really going to watch all of that in 14 days? Probably not, because I'm also going to do myself the service of waiting for a lot of these shows when they air to start coming out in English, which, depending on Crunchyroll and Funimation, can take anywhere from... Usually, it's usually three weeks to a month at the most, maybe a couple months. I don't know. But uh, the ones that won't come out in English, I will watch in Japanese. I'm just trying to make it easier on myself as I make YouTube my full-time job, obviously, with anime and stuff. And instead of doing the weekly videos where I rank everything, I still want to do weekly power rankings through the first half of the season. I'm also going to be doing targeted videos like reviews and talking about specific series. Like next Saturday, we're going to talk about Magic's Bride. So there's that, though. And if you want to watch along, take this list. I mean, these are just the ones I haven't, you, you know, finished. Like, Golden Kamui's fourth or fifth season's coming out, and I watch that as it comes out. I'm caught up with that because it's amazing, and I wouldn't miss it. But this stuff I haven't missed. So this stuff I gotta catch up on. But there you go. Yeah, yeah. If you like this video, guys, consider liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me if you liked what you heard. If you didn't like what you heard, I appreciate you hanging out with me, staying the whole way through, uh, and listening to an opinion that's different than your own, or just giving me the views, man. Um, and then really quick before we wrap up, I will be doing an update video once op uh, Operation Preparation is complete, and I'll be posting about it on Twitter, of course, probably Instagram. But if you hated what you heard, you probably like playing Tetris. I'm sure your mother doesn't love you. You should go get bent. The show is over, but you're still here hanging around. Why don't you hit subscribe?